What's up everyone, it's Bucky, welcome to your 8th Java tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be talking about a new type of data, and that's called an int. And what an int is, is pretty much not like double before, where you had uh, numbers like 3.54, or you could use fractions or decimal points. With int, it stands for integer, and integers are whole numbers like 6, or uh, 75, or 76, and uh, you can only use whole numbers without a fraction and no decimal point. So uh, another thing I want to point out is whenever you use int, like to divide and multiply and add and subtract, whenever you use two ints to do these operations, your answer is also an int. So even if your number um, comes uneven, like 11 divided by 4, that doesn't divide evenly. But when you try to do it on your computer with an int, you get an int as a result. So let me show you guys what that is. Let's go ahead and make three variables, girls, boys, and people. And let's go ahead and set these to some values. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll start out with showing you all of the math operators. Girls equals six. Um, boys equals three. And people equals girls plus boys. Now I showed you guys how to uh, use this math operator in the last one, the plus sign, to get a simple um, sum. So now we can go ahead, and the sum of girls plus boys is now stored in people. So we put system dot out dot print line, and in our parameter, go ahead and put what is it, people. And now if we go ahead and run this, we get nine. Since six plus nine, excuse me, six plus three is nine. And so that is how you can use addition with Java, but addition isn't the only thing you can use. You can use minus or subtraction to get the difference, which six minus three is three. You can also do some other cool ones. In the symbol for multiply is actually the asterisk, which is that little symbol above the eight. So whenever you want to multiply, make sure to use that. As you can see, 6 times 3 is 18. Divide is a special one. Now, whenever you do this, you're going to get 2. But let me show you guys something where if you divide it uneven. Say you want to divide 11 by 3. Let's go ahead and see what our result is. 3. Well, we all know that 11 divided by 3 doesn't equal 3. What it equals is 3 point something. 9 divided by 3 actually equals 3. So what exactly is going on here? Well, Java said, all right, you want to work with ints? Well, ints are whole numbers, so whenever you ask the question in ints, I'm going to give you an int. So if you want to get um, this number exact, you need to use double. So go ahead and press OK, and there's your answer, 3.66. So that's the difference between int and double. Int gives you whole numbers, and double gives you um, uh, like a fraction of a number or numbers with the decimal points so anyways there's one more thing that I can help you out with when using ints to divide and that's something called the modulus now we all know that 3 goes into 11 three times and that will give you 9 but you have uh, two things left over whenever you do that and that's where the modulus comes in the modulus pretty means alright when you divide by a number by a number you get a whole number, aka an int, but you also have some left over. So let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. It says 2. In the modulus, if you remember from math class, this is another way of finding the remainder. So again, when you divide by 11 by 3, you get 9. I mean, excuse me, you get 3, which 3 times 3 is 9, but you have 2 left over. So that's where that 2 comes from whatever's left over is the modulus so that's how you can use the modulus along with int to find the exact value so again uh, let me give you guys one more example this one might be easier if you have seven divided by three you're gonna get the answer two but you're gonna have one left over so if you divided by two such as this you're gonna get the answer two but if you have the modulus you're gonna get the answer one since you have one left over right there 
and that believe it or not is going to be useful in a bunch of things that you won't even expect like when you're finding random numbers and um, stuff that I'm going to be teaching you later but for now I just wanted to show you guys what the in uh, variable type was and also how to use different math operators so uh, thank you guys for watching practice this little um, I don't know what this program is uh, girls and boys and people counters I guess and uh, once you get good at all the math operators you're ready to move on to my next tutorial so again thank you guys for watching uh, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time